Okay, let's go to round three. I didn't do round three. So that was boring. That was boring. That was boring. This was not boring. Okay. So this is the previous round, round three. That was yesterday. Yesterday, the round seemed so far away. I'm not singing very well today. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Now, I read once on the internet, so you know it's true. Mm -hmm. That's the most covered song in history. Yeah. I don't know if it's true. And I just covered it. So, you know, so okay. I mean, it's, it's one more. Yeah, I didn't get to that. I haven't seen very much of Tata Steel. I've been busy doing other things. But I did see briefly, because Ben had it on, that Carlson had his, you know, was grabbing his head and suffering. <laughs> so this was a Petrov, which isn't really the style of, of Von Forius. He likes to play wild and crazy. And he had novelties prepared. Okay, so in this very, 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 very common position, where the main moves are knight c6 and bishop e7 and bishop d6, mm -hmm. he played bishop e6, which is unusual. And then after castles, he played f5, which is unheard of. Strategically terrible, giving up the dark squares. And this is all prep. He's blitzing it out. Mm -hmm. So here... As is customary with Fabi, he thought 30 minutes. Because Fabi out preps everybody, but now he doesn't. He's like, what's f5? Okay, so he played queen e2, which is legal. Bishop e7, knight e5, possibly threatening queen h5 check, possibly not. Knight d7. Now, if you play queen h5 in this position, and I play g6, and you take. That's actually bad. Black has one move that wins and several moves that lose. What's the one move that wins? Black to play and win. Um, bishop f7? Correct. Black wins. So Fabi didn't play queen h5 check. He took the knight. Queen takes. And then never played f3. So the idea is I'm going to kick you out of e4. And then I'm going to occupy e5 with my bishop or my knight. And my rook can come to e1 and put pressure here. And I can play c4, knight c3, attacking the center, bishop f4, bishop here, and you, you can't play knight e4. Now, this was probably prep, some position like this, and he ignored the knight being attacked because white has no development, so he just castled. And his idea is if you take, which is, which is fine, but he didn't do it, f takes, bishop's trapped. If you don't want to lose your bishop, you go here, I said if, and that's terrible because this is the worst thing I've ever seen. And I've seen Mr. Belvedere naked. Okay. Uh, family Guy. Wait, Family Guy? Yeah, I think it's Family Guy. And Black said, the engine says Black's much better here. Down a piece because nice pawn wedge and Bishop G4, trade rooks, other rooks coming, terrible. <laughs> Thanks, Abdullah Maluzum. Yay. Show me state. Sounds like Missouri. 4,000 viewers. What else? Okay. So after castles, Fabi played bishop f4. Not taking the knight. Bishop f6. C3. G5. That's, that's the way Jordan plays. Bishop e5. Engine says this is all good. And in this position, uh, he played a bad move. Uh, Black did. And then he played a very bad move. So he's out of his prep. And, and the engine says white's a little bit better, but black's fine. And this is the kind of position Yuri Shulman would say, 
black has to have a lot of energy because black's knight's hanging every move. And sometimes when the guy takes you, you're down a piece. And you're playing F5 and G5. So you can't just like play solid and boring and, and be equal. You have to play engine moves. And so this is very hard for black because so many moves look sort of reasonable. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, Howell and Svidler wanted black to play takes, takes, knight C5. They thought that looked like normal chess. And the engine agrees. The engine says black should play that and black's slightly worse. Okay, but instead Jordan played knight d6 right away. And now f4. Cementing in his bishop. And g4 is a mistake. He should leave the, the tension here. He, sh he should just take on e5. Or he could play knight back to e4. But he played g4, which is bad. Knight a3. Knight a3 is a really inventive, interesting, uh, clearly good move. And the point of this move is, at some point, black is going to play knight e4. Okay? And when you take this knight, this knight has a perfect blockading square on e3. Really good square for the knight. This bishop's not very good. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have a knight on e3, and then all of white's minor pieces are perfect and black's bishop on e6 is you know, not okay so he played hey, so what was um what was g4 bad it relieves the tension here so it lets white solidify his bishop and it weakens the king side a little bit which you'll see because okay. it's a target so he played rook e8 knight c2 bishop d it's a very bad move terrible move look, look at this bishop terrible Rook d1. He's, he's thinking if you play here and I take and you take, I'll have my rook on the d file here. c6, knight e3, b5. And black's just trying to draw. Black's like, I'm going to chill and then turn on Netflix. And, you know, both guys are pretty cute. So, you know, one thing leads to another. Okay, now... Fabi made a move that the engine doesn't like, but he's following my rule. So he won because he follows my rule. When black plays b5 without knowing the position, what does white play? It's one of my rules. a4? Mm -hmm. And Fabi played a4. Engine doesn't like this move, but still says white has a big advantage. Mm -hmm. Okay, he played, he took the pawn. Queen c2, putting pressure here, putting pressure here h5, king h1, put it in h, and a3, not very good, takes on a3, knight c4, engine likes knight c4, bishop c4 is forced, d c4, and then he moves his king back to g1. And today we saw lots of blunders, like when I was showing the games, like horrible. Okay, this is one of the biggest ones. Remember the guy hung mate in one last game. Yeah. This is a close. Yeah. So in this position, white is clearly better. White can play on the B file. White's knight is fantastic. These bishops both suck. This bishop's fantastic, but it's pretty blocked up. Okay, and Jordan lost all. Um. What's the word I'm looking for? Sense of danger. Terrible. Okay. I like the way Fabi played King H1, King G1, and Jordan played to his doom. Doom! Also from Futurum. H4 double question mark. Losing the game immediately. What did White play? This is a good tactics, like trainer, puzzle rush position. Probably Knight takes G4. Correct. Because then the Queen can get up in there. Right, you can't take his queen g6. Right. You can't. So h4 is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Right, so he just takes it, and that's it. Was he he just didn't see it. What? No, it wasn't time trouble. Uh, Terrible. So an incredible blunder after playing sort of reasonably and playing a novelty and getting a time advantage. You see the times here. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, terrible. All right, bishop d5 is best. Went back to e3. Queen e2. Threatening c4 a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to play bishop d3. Always sack the exchange. And this is completely winning for white. <clears throat> white has a dominating bishop. Black has four isolated pawns. And black has an open king. And a lot of times when you sack the exchange, you're going for two things, which he has both. You're going for a good minor piece. And you're going for bad rooks for the opponent. Those are bad rooks. Mm -hmm. can't, can't do anything. Terrible. Rook e6. Rook b1. Rook g6. Rook b8. That's a tactical blunder. Another tactical blunder. Why is he playing so bad? Now in this position, Fabi could just take this and win. Always play knife f5. Probably saw this and decided he would do something better. But this bishop's better than either rook. And I'm up three pawns. So it's easy win. But instead he played c4, also winning. c5. He takes on c5. Threatening the bishop. Bishop e7. He pins the bishop. Rook c7 defending his pawn on c5. Yeah, it's okay. Black whites up like six pawns or seven pawns or 12 pawns. It's pawndemonium. It's a funny move. If you take this, mm -hmm. I go here. And if you if you play here right away, then I can go here. So if Fabi saw that he the guy couldn't take the C pawn, so he just went here. God damn. And then the engine says plus ten for white. So black resigned. King d5, c6. And Bob is pretty good. Etc. Yeah, Von Forest made really big tactical blunder g4. Then several hours later, uh, to show you the position again, h4, I should say. Matt Larson said, he texted me, do you think he missed knight takes g4? And I said, yeah. He didn't see it. Yeah. It's pretty defended. The g4 pawn, god damn. So you just think like it's defended 775 times, so he won't take it. Like the g4 is defended more than anything's ever been defended ever. Mm -hmm. And after h4, you take it. That's the kind of thing people miss because it just looks so defended. Yeah. Karen saw it in like four seconds though. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I was told to look for a tactic. You know, in the game, they obviously don't have so many talent them to look for a tactic. Fabi was white, in case Matt Larson was, was watching. They are super GMs, so. though. <laughs> They're super. Thanks for asking. Mm -hmm. That game was played yesterday. Yesterday. Et cetera, far away. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired. Mm -hmm.